Hey everyone, I wanted to make a little video to show anyone who's interested what we brought with us on our first camping trip with our little baby Rosie. So she's 10 weeks old and we have had to bring quite a few things because of her. So the first thing is this bouncer, which has been really, really good because as soon as we rock up to a new campsite, Hi, we put her in it and she just watches us and we just take it we just move her around wherever we are and it's really handy so quite a few people told us don't worry about bringing a pram but we did bring our pram um, it's a three-wheeler pram and it can go anywhere and it's been lifesaver for us because she just sleeps in it if we're doing something during the day she'll have her naps in it and I'll just um, put over the fly screen and it can literally go anywhere but we did do a trail which we shouldn't have um, in the pram we ended up having to carry it half the way there was like stairs and rocks and but anyway it's a great pram um so another thing that we had to bring is this fit ball because sometimes it's the only way that she will settle if she's crying and the last thing we wanted was to annoy other campers so i use this and jeff uses this a lot every day um oh okay so we got this from the four drive super center it's a washing basket collapsible so it turns out to be a really good baby bath and she fits in it really well and then we can store it down to almost nothing so that's so handy okay so for her nappies and changing we didn't bring our change mat what i did was i just brought these kind of soft things um these padded things that we i just change her here so i keep the wipes tissues um some pseudo cream and all her nappies just here so we change her on that and then if you want to come inside i'll show you where she sleeps so this is our outback camper trailer which we're using only for the second time we love it so hopefully you can see this and um, bought this travel cot from kmart for 29 bucks so she sleeps inside this and then we have this thing called a bub nest and she sleeps on here and it's got um it's got padding too so it's like insulated from the ground and she's been great and we can also take this wherever we go and she can sleep in it and it has a little fly net thanks uncle ross yeah thanks ross my brother bought it for us um and then in the middle of the night if i need to change her nappy we put the fit ball in here and i'll just put the padded stuff here and i'll change her nappy here but we try not to because she really screams at night so and then we just sleep up here so we're really close to her and um yeah it's been it's been really good so i'll just come back out so yeah also one last thing bought this camp chair which was a bit more expensive than my five dollar kmart one so that when i am breastfeeding it's a lot more comfortable and um, it cost I think 60 bucks but it's so worth it it was it's a great chair so yeah it, we just want to show you that it can be done you can take a really small baby camping and we've been really lucky with this little trooper and um, if we can do it you can do it she's had some of her best sleeps and she's been very happy the whole time not the whole time but most of the time most of the time hey okay. cheers okay. One other thing, actually two things that I forgot. This is our baby carrier. It's an ergo carrier and we use it every single day. So if we need to do anything, she can just sleep in it, sit in it, look around in it and it's really handy. But the number one thing that you need to bring if you have a small baby camping, probably kids in general, wine. So this is what I call expensive cast wine. So I definitely enjoy at least one wine a day. And don't worry, I am very careful because I know I'm breastfeeding, but you still can enjoy a wine a day. And yeah, we definitely need it, hey Jess? Mm -hmm. She's cute. <laughs> Ready for a nap? <laughs>